as you're building out your next amazing application using Next.js, you're getting all of the benefits of SSG, SSR, ISR, API routes using serverless functions, file system routing, middleware, image optimization, and so much more to make your applications lightning fast. But are you thinking about the data platform that is feeding your application? You've optimized so much getting your application as close to your users as possible, even to the edge. But technically, your application is only as fast as its slowest component. Your users on the East Coast of the US might have a very fast experience if your database is hosted there. But what about your users in Australia? Your application might be delivered to them at the edge, but if you need real-time personalized data, it might still be coming from US East. So let's talk about data that scales from modern front ends to the edge. I'm Jesse Hall, Senior Developer Advocate at MongoDB, and I'm excited to be here to talk about Vercel, Next.js, and MongoDB. It's the perfect stack. I like to call it Venom. So powerful, it's scary. But if you're not familiar with MongoDB's developer data platform, let me give you a quick overview. If you haven't used MongoDB Atlas recently, you might be surprised at some of the additions and features that are included. Now, you're probably most familiar with the core database, which is based on the document model. But did you know that you can store more than just objects in MongoDB? You can store key value pairs, graphs, geospatial data, time series data, and don't tell anybody relationships. There's so many other use cases. And there's also a unified query API, which ties together many other features such as transactions, analytics, distributed mobile and serverless apps, and Lucene powered full text search capabilities built right in. And all of this is built on top of a secure, resilient, elastic, global, multi-cloud, all of the buzzwords infrastructure. So it's not just MongoDB, it's a full developer data platform. Let's talk more about the Venom stack. The very beginning of the stack starts in your Vercel dashboard. Did you know that you can create and connect a MongoDB Atlas database from Vercel? Watch how easy it is. From the Vercel integrations marketplace, select the MongoDB integration and then add integration. Select the Vercel account that you want to add the integration to. You can choose to add the integration to all projects or select specific projects. I'll select a Vercel integration project I already have. And then verify the permissions being used and add the integration. Now in this pop-up, we're given the option to select an existing MongoDB organization or add a new one. And then next I can choose my database location and then create my new cluster. Now back in my Vercel project settings, I can see the integration has been added. And the coolest part is under environment variables. I now have a variable called MongoDB URI, which is the connection string for the new cluster that was just created for me. So a lot just happened here. From Vercel, I created a new MongoDB Atlas cluster. Vercel configured network and user authentication for me in MongoDB Atlas and added my database connection string to the environment variables, all automatically. So that's how you set up a new project from scratch that utilizes MongoDB. Now let me show you a really slick demo application that Steven Tay from Vercel created. And if you want to check it out, you can find it at mongodb.vercel.app. It's a developer directory that currently has over 500 developers and it uses MongoDB Atlas to store the data and has Atlas search enabled. Notice as I search for my handle, even if I misspell it, it still comes up because Atlas fuzzy search is enabled. So go check it out and register your profile today. Now deploying the same application yourself only takes about two minutes. So let's click clone and deploy. I'll choose GitHub to store my project. Then I'll name it Vercel MongoDB Demo. And then next, we'll add the MongoDB integration just like we did a minute ago. I'll select my organization, add a new project, and create a new cluster. There's one more environment variable that this application requires since it uses next auth for authentication. So I'm going to generate a secret and add that to my variables and then deploy. Now the application is being built and deployed to Vercel's global edge. Now because of the magic of editing, we can see that it only took one minute to deploy. And I love how fun it is to work with Vercel. You get confetti to celebrate a successful deployment.
So now I can click the preview to view the deployed application. And this version has fake data. And so you can see that this is a different URL. So let's take a look at the underlying code to see how all of this is working. I have this new GitHub repo open. And did you know on GitHub, if you just press period, it opens up your repo in VS Code in the browser. So most of the magic is happening here under lib and then mongodb.ts. So we're importing the Mongo client from the MongoDB package. And then we're using that environment variable from Vercel, mongodb underscore URI to get our connection string. If we don't have the connection string, we're going to throw an error saying, please make sure you have a connection string. And then we're going to see if we're in development. If we're in development, we're gonna create a global MongoDB promise so that on reloads, HMR doesn't create multiple connections. And then if we're in production, we're just going to create this client promise and then return the client promise, which can then be used throughout our application. We're doing this because we're using serverless functions. We want our client to be cached so that we don't run into any connection limit issues. So getting MongoDB integrated with Vercel and Next.js is very simple. But back to the topic of data that scales. With our standard dedicated clusters, you can choose the resources that you'll need for your database. You can choose how many CPUs, how much RAM, how much storage space, and you can even choose to auto scale your cluster if you have a workload that fluctuates. We offer varying cluster tiers to meet the needs of applications of any size. But what happens when vertical scaling isn't enough? Your application is consuming more resources than a single server can handle or your costs have gone through the roof because you've scaled too far vertically. This is where horizontal scaling makes much more sense. Instead of stacking more and more resources on a single server, which is a single point of failure, you can add more clusters to balance the workload, and this is much more efficient and cost-effective. But those are considerations that you may or may not have enough insights to figure out initially. Or maybe you're like me and you would just rather not worry or think about scaling and you'd prefer a fully managed abstracted solution. Well, MongoDB Atlas also offers serverless instances. These are databases that scale to your application's needs seamlessly. Now, as your application workload increases, your database will automatically and seamlessly scale for you. And as your workload decreases, it will automatically scale back down. And with serverless instances, you only pay for the operations that you run. So you'll never have to worry about overspending on unused resources. This makes them a great option for startups and workloads with sparse or variable traffic. Now, how do we tackle the global and edge issue though? We have users all over the world and we want them to be able to access our applications underlying data at the same speeds, no matter where they are located. Well, fortunately, MongoDB is a multi-cloud, multi-region developer data platform. Not only can you choose between AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, but you can mix and match these cloud providers and regions that make the most sense for your application. Currently, you can choose between 100 regions to host your data, bringing the underlying data of your application closer to each of your users. And again, you can choose one or many regions to host your data that makes the most sense for your application. So if your goal is to cover the entire US, why not host your data on the West Coast and the East Coast so that the data can be accessed anywhere in the US very quickly? Now, to take this to the next level, why not take advantage of Vercel's edge functions to access our data even faster? With edge functions on Vercel, you get dynamic at the speed of static. Because Vercel's lightweight edge runtime uses the JavaScript V8 engine, HTTPS requests are an ideal pairing. HTTPS endpoints are simple to implement within Next.js. And again, MongoDB has you covered with our HTTPS endpoint powered data API. It's a serverless, secure API that lets you read and write data in Atlas. And it's perfect for edge environments where HTTPS connections are required. So if you're familiar with REST APIs, you'll be right at home with the data API. All you have to do is enable the data API in the Atlas dashboard, generate an API key, and start using it in any of your server-side code, just like you would any other REST API. Now, not only can you read and write to your Atlas database, but you can even run aggregations and take advantage of other Atlas features like our Lucene powered full text search. And I'm excited to announce that coming soon, you'll be able to enable the data API directly from Vercel using the MongoDB integration, eliminating the few extra steps that it takes today. So is your data platform keeping up with your application's needs? 
Think about where the data is coming from for your application. Where are your users? Get the data as close to your users as possible and build apps faster by using the MongoDB Vercel integration along with Next.js. I'm so excited about the MongoDB and Vercel partnership, and I hope you are too. Thank you again for having me, and I hope you enjoy the rest of Next.js Comp.